Imagine this. You wake up, take a shower, grab your morning coffee, and teleport to this 10 a.m. meeting with your PM. Science fiction? More like future in the making. Let's talk about introverts, Zoom fatigue, and the next big thing in remote work. You know what virus made the world discover the pleasures and pains of remote work. Right now we are relying on Zoom and Google Hangout, but soon, teleportation, that is cross-reality collaboration, might be a supernatural skill that we will all have. Its leader, Spatial, is currently working on creating a platform that allows holding holographic meetings and presentations, turning any room, an office, a coffee shop, or even your bedroom into a 3D workspace. Let's say your colleague in another office needs your help. You put on Magic Leap or HoloLens headset, run Spatial, and teleport to his desk. Similarly, if you dare, you can invite your friend's lifelike holograms to your living room and have your internet browser tabs appear before your eyes. Or a project we did here at Nomtech for Pond's publishing house. We made two different people from two different parts of the globe who speak two different languages talk about how a car's engine is built. Our POC used Microsoft Azure AI engine and translated languages simultaneously, while people involved could see and manipulate the same hologram of the engine. A variety of industries are now slowly embracing the use of applications such as spatial or remote assist. Let's take healthcare first. A German company called BrainLab is currently working on mixed reality solutions for doctors. Perhaps that knee surgery you're gonna have in a few years are gonna take place in your local hospital, but will be coordinated by surgeons from Singapore and Australia. In manufacturing, it can mean a senior specialist from Austria assisting his junior colleague in fixing a machine in a Brazilian factory, helping to bridge the skills gap between new employees and more experienced ones. In customer support, it can merely mean that a tech guy from, well, some office will use remote assist technology to point to you what bolts to unscrew and how to fix this disk. And if none of these examples convinced you how big cross-reality collaboration is going to be, then one number will. 136.5 million euros. That's how much TeamViewer paid this year for augmented reality startup Ubimax. Big tech players are racing to launch new mixed reality tools to secure their share in the growing market. Apple, for example, recently added a new element to their iPad Pros, LiDAR, which is a laser scanner that allows for the use on AR on portable devices, beyond catching Pokemons. There is, of course, a myriad of reasons to love cross-reality collaboration. Reducing travel time, minimizing carbon footprint, nearly on-demand knowledge transfer, flexibility when choosing a place to live, saving yourself from that morning traffic, or simply avoiding those awkward conversations by the water cooler. Well, it all might sound perfect, especially for introverts, but it's not all kittens and rainbows. Have you ever felt that you've been completely drained after a video call? Well, the recent months showed us that Zoom fatigue is real, and spatial fatigue can be too. Humans can only do so many things consciously at once. Feelings and attitudes of our peers are mostly conveyed by nonverbal signals like, you know, facial expressions, the tone of the voice, posture, and so on. In a face-to-face -face meetings, we decode these automatically. But during online interactions, our brain needs to work super hard to analyze these nonverbal cues. There are several projects from the collaborative VR space that experiment with sharing users' physiological measures, such as heart rate and body temperature. It's safe to assume that they will expand into the MR space. Time lags harm communication too. Your slow connection is causing a 1.2 seconds lag? Well, your peers probably view you as less friendly and less focused. Meetings in person and hallway chit-chats are also essential rituals in any office. They provide comfort and put us at ease. And yes, even introverts. Smart presentations and workshops aside, we learn about our jobs by simply watching our colleagues. Just like pilots spend over 50% of their time watching their co-pilots' activities in the cockpit to coordinate their own efforts. And come on, there's simply something cool about the old-school handshake after closing a deal.
Can the lack of physical interaction erode a sense of community and negatively affect collaboration? Can we really live in a world where physical space and distance are no longer relevant? Let us know your thoughts.